Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to join me in applauding General Baba Olusegun Obasanjo. Thank you, thank you so much, my dear brother. Uh, His Excellency the Governor of the great county of Kisumu and the First Lady of Kisumu. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed, Hamjambo, I am very delighted to have an opportunity to talk to you today. But my speech has already been made ready by the general and uh, the other chief guests, Dr. Fazam Kamalabadi, they have spoken for me. May you stand up, Dr. Kamalabadi, to be a... You made my day today. I don't have much to add. But today we are in Festac, we are opening Festac. It's a festive occasion. And therefore, we are in the great city of Kisumu. Kisumu Hoi! Kisumu Hoi! Kisumu, Kisumu, Dalawa, Kisumu, Kisumu, Dalawa, Kisumu, Dalawa, Kisumu, Kisumu, Dalawa. Kisumu, Kisumu, Dalawa, Kisumu, Kisumu, Dalawa, Kisumu, Dalawa, Kisumu, Kisumu, Dalawa. Nyanza Hoi! Kenya Hoi! Africa Hoi! Africa Ka Kanindo Tieno Katingo Via Tuganene Wanga. Maya to Gama Camino Angela, Marco Poga, Godo di Poca Ketu Dinda Africa Hoy Africa Hoy. It is a great pleasure. Africa, good morning. Bonjour, bonjour, Africa. It is a great pleasure to join so many Africans from across the continent and the world to celebrate Africa and its culture. We welcome those from different parts of the world who have made time to be here and to see how it was and how it is at the cradle of humankind as we celebrate our culture. We are all at home. It has been proven scientifically that the first Human or species was here in this part of the world. And that's why anybody who comes here is welcome back home. I wish to take this opportunity to congratulate the city of Kisumu for bringing this great event home. I equally thank the organizers for staging a show that is designed to leave a mark. Did Africa is coming of age. We are here to celebrate African culture as expressed in food, music, stories, dances, business, fashion, and sports, among others. This meeting is very much in line with aspiration number five, the Agenda 2063 of the African Union, which envisages an Africa the strong cultural identity, a common heritage, shared values and ethics, and focused on Pan-Africanism. The aspirations number five commit to tap Africa's rich heritage and culture to ensure that the creative arts are major contributors to the continent's growth and transformation. We have to admit that as a continent, you have not invested enough in creative industries. 
and we will not use the industry as we should to unite our people and integrate the continent. At events like this, we affirm what we often take for granted or even doubt, that Africans are one people. There's nothing you are going to find here in Kenya that looks very, very different and unimaginable to a person from Senegal, Zambia, or Egypt. In a way, we are unique when it comes to culture. When you go to Asia, there are many different kinds of Eastern culture. You meet the Indian, the Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, and so on. You go to Western culture, you meet equally many different cultures. German, English, French, American. But when it comes to Africa, there's a strong sense of uniformity. Wherever Africans are, however removed from the motherland, they all tend to put the family as the main reference for the individual. And they all tend to agree that society or community is more important than the individual. We all distill our lessons and transmit our experiences. Uh, we agree that distilled knowledge is beneficial for our societies to succeeding generations. May these traditions never die among the African people. May they unite and not divide us. It is, however, a painful contradiction and a matter of great concern that despite the near uniformity in our beliefs and traditions, Africa is more divided than these societies with multiple cultures. You have never harnessed our music, food, stories, and family connections to deliberately pursue unity and advance our cause as a people. The Congolese music is enjoyed across the entire continent, just like the music from Cameroon, Nigeria, Tanzania. Ethiopian, Somalian, Nigerian dishes are getting enjoyed across the continent. But it's, that is where it ends. Good food, good music, and nothing more. You have never deployed these tools for, for, for oneness. We are clinging hard to borders and boundaries that were set up by colonialists and define things that should unite us by countries of origin. It is a pity that 60 years since most of our countries attained independence, we are still divided and proud to be divided with the languages of our colonial, colonial masters, that is, Anglophones, Francophones, and Lusophones. At that time, the owners of those colonial languages are forging a united Europe. There's no Anglophone or Francophone in Europe, but there is Anglophone and Francophone here in Africa. What a pity. Africa has to change. Escalated unity is the way to go. The cultural ties that bind us is a great starting point on the path to unity. For historical reasons, Europe is our closest associate around the world. We are not going to engage meaningfully with a uni unified region when we act as a host of tiny individual nations. Integration is an idea whose time has come. Now, I keep on saying all the times that we need Africa developed by Africans. But we have got two categories of Africans. They are Afro-optimists and Afro-pessimists. Afro-pessimists are those who have 
given hope on Africa.